Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Charles Sard and today we are going to be opening the Pikachu Sidekick Collection. About a week ago, I ended up asking on my TikTok about whether um, we wanted to open up the Pikachu Sidekick Collection or if we wanted to do the Mimikyu. And of course, Pikachu ended up winning by a landslide. So I'll go ahead and show it here. As you can see, it does come with the um, Pikachu with the Pikachu promo card. It also comes with a keychain. I'm probably not gonna keep the keychain. Might end up giving that away. Um, and then it comes with three boosters uh, here. As you can see, it does come with a Sun and Moon collection, a Sun and Moon Burning Shadow, as well as a Breakthrough. I am pretty excited to see um, which ones we get. But of course, the ultimate goal here is to collect all the cards in the specific series or specific sets that they come in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So you can guys see here. Okay, we'll go ahead and kind of open this, get this opened up. I really just want to kind of like open it apart and rip it apart. I think the Pikachu keychain is very, very cute, honestly. A little bit too big for me, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, but, I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up giving it away. All right. Go ahead and pop this baby's out. And, Go. It's a little bit dirty, it has a little bit of a mark on here. Show you guys that. Do you guys have any Pokemon um, keychains? If so, let me know which ones. I'm still debating, it's a little bit bigger. As you can see, I'm gonna put it right here on my palm. So it's a little bit way too big to me for me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start putting, we'll put this one right here. It does come with this Pikachu. Go ahead and show it to you guys. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. And once again, it does look like the pen that I have right here. Look at this. Kind of put them, kind of put both of them side by side. Put this on all the other way here. And of course, I'll go ahead and give you guys. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now getting um, to the big part, which is getting into the booster packs. Now this video is gonna be very short and simple. Um, we're gonna keep it a little bit that way. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. We're gonna go ahead and get into the Sun and Moon first. It does have Lunala in it, which I think is a very, very cool Pokemon. Um, kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you guys used to watch Power Rangers. It was one of the series and I can't think of the name, um, Mystic Force. It was Power Rangers, Mystic Force, uh, and there was a Power Ranger, I think it was called the Solaris Knight, if I'm not mistaken. It reminds me of this, um, especially with the Sogaleo, but it was definitely missing its counterpart. Here we have the freebie, freebie code for you, folks. And there we go. Petting Energy, Brion. A little in Persian. Switch. A little in Rattata. A Snowball. Makuhita. A Cutify, which we saw kind of in the past with the, um, it was with the Rock Ruff, I believe. It was in its ear. A drowsy, 
a big malasada. And like I mentioned before, this is another, it's a reverse hollow malasada. Um, like I said in the past, Pokemon food definitely, definitely catches my interest because then you're just like, how does this taste like? Now, honestly, if I were to put a flavor to this, it would probably end up tasting more like a stuffed donut more than anything, but it does look good too. And we're gonna go ahead and check that out and it's gonna come with a Hariyama. Here we go, at least we have the evolution complete here. We have both the Makuhita as well as the Hariyama. Gonna put these aside. Let's go ahead and get into the breakthrough now. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool how Mewtwo, a Pokemon that allegedly doesn't have an owner in the Pokemon series, has two different um, Mega Evolutions. It's like, how does a Pokemon teach itself to like, you know, Mega Evolve? Um, I think the other one who also does that is Rayquaza, if I'm not mistaken. Here we have another PB code. Ooh. And I think I ended up doing this uh, wrong, obviously, because as you can see, here we have an Empoleon and it looks pretty, pretty nice. I keep forgetting that the breakthroughs and the other ones don't really have the same um, pool trick. Looks a little bit hollow there. Love me, Empoleon. We're gonna have a Stunfisk. Bridget, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that. A Giovanni Scheme, a Snover, Reflet, a Scatterbug, a Cacnea. I'm not a big fan of this art, so you can guys you guys there I don't know for some odd reason I like more those that are drawn in a way this looks like a clay model not a big fan of those as well as the middle ones but like I said do you and here we have a snowball and a cactus reverse hollow here you guys have it and let's go ahead and put them side by side We'll have the reverse hollow cacturn and the hollow empoleon. It's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Like I mentioned before in my previous video, um, I do have a water deck, which is what I'm playing. And I've been getting some pretty good ones that I am gonna be able to add to that. Um, so here we have the sun and moon, the burning shadow. I believe this one might have a Charizard, if I'm not mistaken. I probably am, don't fall on that. And here we have it, the food code. I honestly have so many of these that it literally looks like a whole deck. Honestly, just a whole deck of nothing but online codes to be redeemed. Um, let me know if you play the Pokemon trading card game online. Um, and if you'd like to see me reveal a little bit more of those or a video just dedicated to showing these pretty much. So this is the last pack. Let's hope I did it right. And I did, okay, there we go. A Psychic Energy, Ride On, Charmeleon. This reminds me of one of those games that you would be able to play on Nintendo. Um, kind of like Mario Kart, whenever you used to play, not Mario Kart, I'm sorry, Mario Party, whenever you used to play the game and then, you know, little things happened there and they used to make like those facial express expressions. Look at that. And it kind of looks like he's playing Mario Party there. Probably not. And we have a 
apple flaunt, a lemon ratata, a wimpod, a toga de maru, sock. I don't know, I don't, I don't really understand this Pokemon as well as the other one I think is called the row. We have a mud brain. A reverse hollow electabuzz. It looks pretty, pretty nice. Look at that. That's a very nice stance. And I really, really like the art on this one. Pretty nice. I'm honestly a big fan of the first generation Pokemon altogether. Um, I don't know, for some reason, those ones just really get my attention. I am currently playing the uh, Hard Gold, and it brings back so many memories, especially when it comes to um, using the Poker Walker. I have that, and honestly, the best. And last on here is gonna be the Tangrove, not even a hollow. Really, that's what I get. But like I said, ultimate goal is to end up um, pretty much trying to get at least one of each set on here. If you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe um, as well. And lastly, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you guys are staying safe. See you guys next time.